Coming up next on Entertainment News is Spotlight as we have gospel jazz artist Uduak Daniel who is making a comeback to the music industry with a new project. She joins us now to discuss her self-imposed holiday, self-discovery and her return. Do enjoy. Seven years after leaving the music scene to pursue a career in public service, jazz artist Udwak Daniel is making a comeback to the industry with a new self-titled project. Shades abound, yeah. Melody to me. Oh. I see colors, colors, many, many colors. It all depends on what you see. I see colors. Jazz is a very intellectual sort of genre of music, and so naturally, my audience are corporate entities churches too, cutting edge churches who don't, that don't really see jazz as something too circular, uh, heads of corporations and such places. Um, having jazz in the mainstream has been simply through the church, you know, uh, ministering in churches and being a blessing. So it's not just about the genre, it's about the spirit that goes with it. So I'm a jazz um, a singer and artist, but I'm also a minister and I, and I minister through music. In her initial seven years of active music production, Uduak put in four albums before taking a break to become a researcher. Her return to music follows a season of self-discovery. However, she will juggle both passions, working as a civil servant and singer. I, I had to take time to discover myself again. Because what God was just trying to show to me was, hey, listen, don't restrict yourself to that scope that you think I have put you. I can do much more with you. So now I am saying to you, you go to the marketplace. By virtue of my work, of course, I've met all sorts of people. By virtue of my training uh, and a cadre in the public service, it has, it has, confirmed to me the audience that God is asking me to reach out to. So I had to spend that much time to say, Lord, okay, okay, I let go all that I thought you were calling me into, and now I'm ready to move the way you want me to. It. I mean, it's. Uh, um, I'm here right now for advocacy for a national research, AIDS research. I'm sure you've been hearing it uh, uh, all over the air. Um, as a researcher, I'm, I, I, I'm doing that and I have gigs here and there, or I have invitations for, for ministration in churches, or I need to go to some corporate function. I do what I need to do. Scheduling is it, you know, just taking time to make sure you plan your life. That's what it is. This is my principle in life. Live fulfilled, die emptied. Daniel has identified a niche in the corporate world and believes making music beyond church audience is paramount as there is a demand for inspirational songs. Most of my concerts are done outside church. So I use restaurants, I use um, resorts, um, I use very, very obscure places, places most gospel artists wouldn't want to go to 
football pitches, golf, um, golf fields and all of that. So uh, for me, it's actually reaching those who we consider shouldn't be reached. That's, that's my own calling. Getting out there, reaching the people that don't usually, you don't usually find in churches. Fashioning my music to suit them, going to where they are and reaching them just at their location. That's what Jesus did, you know? Yeah. Um, businesses, I, I feature a lot during um, annual general meetings and corporate retreats and all of those. Again, because of the type of music I do, and it's amazing to find or to know that corporate entities always want to hear what God has to say about them. People who are up there want to sit down and just be inspired. People who plan a lot, who think a lot, just need to have some music that will speak to them and help them to think some more. Her forthcoming album will feature both local and international jazz artists. I'm